Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope that you guys doing all fine. Wherever you are in the world, hope you're doing safe. Follow precautionary procedures that our government is instructing us so that we can limit the spread of this COVID-19 virus from anywhere we are, anywhere you are, from where am I standing as well. Making this video right now just to share something about what is happening in my life and the realization in my life during this quarantine time. It's a negative experience from any one of us in the world, most especially for, for those who are suffering in hunger, for those fellow men that we have in this world that are less fortunate. And for us as well that has been put on hold for quite some time from our job, from the security of our life that we experience here in this world. But there is, there is one thing that we have to be secure though. Whether this temporary thing that we have in this world will perish, will be stripped away from us, but we have one thing that will never ever leave us. And that is the relationship that we will have with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Why am I saying this? Everyone is panicking right now like job security well how how will i feed my family how will i feed myself well will i will i get the resources where i mean like how can i proceed in this life and a lot of a lot of people around the world if you're a youtube fan like me i s look at videos there are people that finding some things to do in order to keep them active pranks exercises um, cooking instructions or whatnot but those are good those are good those are good and I just wanted to share like we can spend like 10 minutes probably one hour on those kind of stuff but have we ever tried spending at least five minutes thinking reflecting what is the Lord Jesus Christ telling me probably wanted to connect to you. He wanted you to establish a relationship with Him. As what John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, for whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. People right now are seeking peace, security, assurance that we can survive this. But there is one thing, an eternal peace that will never be stripped away from us. And that is through Jesus Christ our Lord. That is building a relationship, establishing a relationship with Him, and putting Him in the center of our lives. Probably the Lord is teaching us that we cannot do nothing apart from Him. Even you have financial security, nice house, nice car, sufficient food that can feed you whether or not this thing will end as soon as possible or it may take longer. But what if those things are stripped out from us? Where will you go? I'm not saying that Jesus Christ is the last resort. He should be first in our lives. So just come to think of it, you know, while you're sitting in there, before you do your stuff, you wake up in the morning, you sit in your bed, before you do your daily routine, Come to think of it. It's just a matter of repentance. Accepting Him as your Lord and personal Savior. Turn away from sin. And I assure you, you will have your peace. Even around you is crumbling, falling down. But you have the assurance in Jesus Christ that you will be safe. Not just in this world, but eternally. Once you die, ask yourself, where will I go after I die? And the answer is, as long as you have Jesus Christ in you, you repent, you accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior, that only Jesus Christ alone can save you from our sins, then we can be assured that He will never leave us nor forsake us. So, you know, thoughts that you can ponder. If you have your Bible, you can read your Bible. Probably this is the time that you build 
starting to build, starting to strengthen your relationship. For those, for those Christians like me, who already have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Probably this is the time that we strengthen our faith. We strengthen our relationship with Him, and continue to communicate. And up until the quarantine ends, I hope that that is not the end of our um, establishing. I mean, like that is not the end of establishing our relationship with Him. Should continue. And for those who doesn't have the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, just come to think of it. If you have your Bible, so you just open your Bible. John three sixteen. Come to ponder upon it. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ before it's too late. Repent and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You guys keep safe. See you on the next video.